I love it. Every day for me is like Christmas. Amazon just left. Another package. And I got a feeling I know what this is. This is going to be another product that a manufacturer has delivered to me for one of my honest and trustful product reviews. Let's see what's inside here. this I remember this what does that look like to you read the small print LED floodlight two of them from on for you O-N-F-O-R you all right so here's what's going to be inside here we've got an RGB 100 watt rated, life expectancy of 3,000 hours, 120 degree beam angle. Color RGB, which means it's got gazillions of colors. We say we unbox this. Okay, you know I don't do unboxing. So while I'm unboxing it, let me go over the uh, features with you real quick. Each light has its own remote, but one remote can work both. It's infrared, so you've got to be in line of sight and be pointing it at the light. There are 16 million colors, but I'm only able to confirm 12,675 of them. So we might be a little short. You can use this indoor outdoor, duh. And the cool thing about this that I think is going to get used the most is the timer function. So once you turn it on, it will stay on for 3, 6, or 12 hours with an automatic off. If you want, you have three make-your-own-colors. But look, with 16 million colors, pick one already! This is IP66 waterproof rated, which means it's protected against multi-directional high pressure water from entering the light. We've got it open. So here's your two remotes and you get one spare battery, a 2025 battery. Very nice. We'll get into that later. Instruction book. Men don't read instructions till after it don't work. Let's look at the lights. They're thin. They're not very heavy. But my first initial complaint or suggestion to on for you, if they are watching, where the cord exits the fixture, right there. It exits on the bottom. This won't set level with that exiting the bottom. But the plus side is we can flip it over right side up, but the cord is still exiting up here on top. When, if I was designing this, that cord would be exiting back this way. Make sense to you? Let me know, leave a comment. We got about two, three feet of cord on here. That right there is where the remote receiver has to be pointed at. That's your eye, just like on your TV. You ask yourself, what is Fester gonna do with this? Well, the first thing he's gonna do is get rid of all the mattress tags. I don't like them, I don't need them. No one reads these things, they're ugly, it's an eyesore. Let's get rid of them. Okay, so you're saying, all right, Fester, what are you going to do with these lights? Well, because this has 16 million colors and a lot of settings on the remote where you can turn it on and off at different times of the night, I'm going to use this for holiday decorations on the facade of my house. Now, let me show you what some old style holiday lights look like. My neighbor across the street, bless her heart, they don't even live here. 
They're only here for a week a year, but they put up these ugly stringer white LED Christmas lights. They're blinding, they're super bright in our dark sky community, and they are typical 1970 Christmas lights, holiday lights. They're antiquated, they're ugly, they're old school, they're old style. This is gonna be cool, this is gonna be easy, and I don't have to pay anybody to put these up for me, and I don't have to climb up on a roof and do shit with this. So let's go outside before it gets dark, and let me show you what I'm thinking. So here is the backside of my house from the street. I have got these big tall windows, tall ceiling, and a deck that gets no love during the holidays. This road right through here is one of two leading into our subdivision. Let me show you what the plan's gonna be. Strategically placed behind these 12 by 12 timbers, one right there, the other one over here short extension cord from there to here and then these are gonna wash light real softly up on the side of my house being that it's the christmas holidays i'm gonna have one over there probably be green and this one over here be red christmas colors that would be racist not very inclusive if i leave them red and green all winter long. For the eight crazy days of Hanukkah, I'm gonna turn both of these blue. It's two hours after sunset, so everything's pitch dark. And this is what I have now. I like it. I am rather impressed, to be honest with you. If this is too bright for you, there is a dimming feature on the remote. And changing colors, you can get 16 million colors to choose from. But this looks good. This is a huge improvement from how I normally leave my house dark all the time. Even though this is Utah and it's 65% Mormon, there are eight crazy nights all around the world called Hanukkah. And that's when this house will be lit up blue. And then driving uphill through the S-curves to my house, this is what you see. This looks really cool. I, I know I'm going to get a lot of attention from the neighbors, but I like it. All right, it's Monday before Thanksgiving. Check in the description for links to the website, to Amazon, to the product, all this good stuff. And there's a 10% discount code if you tell them you're with Fester. I really like the way this looks. Uh, I'm going to leave them up until uh, New Year's. And then, before I go and say goodbye, guess what color I can make these for Halloween? Out of 16 million colors, I can find a really good orange. All right, man. That's it. I'm out of here. See ya.